So, hello everyone. <laughs> um, hopefully you've already seen that I've done my monthly setup in my Amplify Planner, and now what I want to do is walk through how I kind of think about my week. Now, this is a new planner to me. Filming plan with me's are fairly new as well, so this is a work in progress mm -hmm. as I reach across with my big old arm to get my tea. All right, so the reason that I'm putting that disclaimer on there is I'm still getting used to a lot of things and not everything will be exactly this. However, I did have some questions and some people who were interested in some posting that I did in some of the, uh, uh, in the Amplify Facebook group and on Instagram about a few things that are going on and, and they saw an original or earlier photo that had tons of, um, the sticky notes and that was how I was planning for my month going forward because I didn't even think about printing out the free printable that was available and it also helps me be able to move things around and kind of get a good idea of what my schedule was going to be so for this first one in January for the first time since I was doing I'm, I'm trying to increase the amount of content that I put out in all the different books that I use on a monthly basis um, I really needed something that was kind of easy to move around. I could visualize, which is very important to me. So I have right now, currently, went ahead and have the yellow sticky notes back here because I wanted to show you what I was going to do because it had to do with how I planned on doing my weeklies. And I still am going to do something along this style uh, which when we get into February, I'll probably talk to you a little bit more about and show you. But as I get going, actually, yeah, probably in February. But this is a possibility. So if you want to use sticky notes, first of all, let me show you what I do that seem to fit in the amplifier spots perfectly. Is um, So I take this little sticky note. I can't remember what this is. What is that? Is it a three by three? I don't have a ruler, so. Well, I do. Well, I have a ruler I can't use. So. All right, anyway. Um, so these are the small, the, the more standard sticky notes. And what I do is I just simply fold it directly in half like this. And this was born of necessity because I had no other, um, no other sticky notes in the house. And I thought, wait a second. And if you look, those fit when put in half so they're probably three by threes because I think these are one and a half inch boxes fit in there perfectly however they're too long so you you know and you need the sticky part so you can either just leave it that long and denote the the space in between or do what I do which is at this point I go down to right above this fourth one here I believe the fourth line and I cut just a little bit above it. And so what you see when you unfold it is it fits two boxes like that. So on a weekend, that's perfect. And that's how I would do it and then do my little notes. However, for the week, you don't always have two boxes side by side. Plus I want the individual. So I, oh, sorry. I just cut it then in half where you fold it. And as you can see, it fits pretty darn well. And what I try to do is put the, the ones below it underneath because as you think, you'll be moving down this uh, sheet and it's easy just to take off. So that's how I make the little sticky notes. And I'm actually gonna pop over to February and just put a few in because that could be handy to have over here. So as you see with February, I have some larger sticky notes that have some notes on it. I've already started penciling in because remember, this is just a kind of, uh, it's, it's the free printout. And then I've already numbered it and worked on it. And I just want to keep putting things here so that I know what I'm kind of planning for February. So this is a good holding spot. And then I will transfer everything into here once I get to February. It may seem like a lot of redundancy, but one of the things I've learned since this is my social uh, media content planning planner for everything to do with the book nester, uh, things change. Uh, today was a perfect example 
my husband came in and <laughs> yesterday I was like, oh, I'm going to go into work. And he was scheduled to work from home. And uh, he said he's going to go into the office. He likes the regiment that it gives him and, and the schedule that it gives him. He really doesn't like this working from home. Uh, <laughs> And so it gave me a free day to be able to do this, which is talk about my weekly planning. So, so far we've been talking about monthly. So <laughs> there you go. Um, all right. So we're looking at the week of the 10th through the 16th. I have changed my Amplify, Amplify, my Amplify. I'm flying with the Amplify. Fly. Gosh, I cannot speak. Um, I have changed it from Monday to a Sunday, from a Monday start or change it to a Monday start from a Sunday start. So that's why that's all been done. And if I look over here, this tells me it's week number two, which is great. I like to keep those numbers. And that is one of the first things that I will be doing, noting on the, the week is what week number it is. I have some of the things that I've highlighted and I do this for my planning purposes. Cause if I have this highlighted, then I know I need to have matching something needs to be done. So if I'm writing a blog, then that means I need to post it. I need to, uh, and most likely if I'm writing a blog, it's a review, which means a review is due, which means a film video of that book review is due. So it just kind of, you know, keeps me going and keeps me on, on some form of track to make sure I have everything. But what I'm going to do, and this is why I want to show you this whole thing. Thanks for sticking with me is I'm going to take these sticky notes and then go to the week and we are just going to put them here. Now I have my bookmark there. All right. So as you can see, and this way they just go over here. Now I probably need to double check a couple just to make sure sometimes things change even in there. Okay. I've got, I'm a day off. How am I a day off? Oh, that's why. Cause I skipped. You know, I just now noticed that Thursday's over here. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> all right. So that's all my sticky notes. They're over here. This will help me to start planning my week. Now, why do you need a weekly? Why do you need a day, you know, a weekly, a monthly, a weekly and a daily? The monthly for me is a really forward planning in this particular, um, planner. It also, because I can forward plan, I can easily mark things that I need to remember to do for that month on specific days if need be. So forward planning, this is all forward planning. The weekly planning starts helping me set up so that my daily planning goes as smooth as possible and it makes me look at just one week. Now I was primarily a weekly planner uh, before I got this particular, I was not a daily, uh, daily was something I was like, who needs daily? Well, I do now because I'm trying to make sure that I'm keeping myself busy and, uh, not wasting a lot of time on certain projects that probably don't need that much, or just realizing how much time I spend on those projects. But this is really where I start planning out the week and really helping me kind of figure out what I need to be focusing on for the week. So if the sticky notes are here, then when I come to here and that's what I'm going to be doing going forward. So like all of these can go to the weeks already because I've already written down, but at the same time, I might think about keeping them there just to see how much change happens. Cause again, he was supposed to work from home. And if you look, it says Simon works from home. He didn't work from home today. <laughs> I am still going to write that and then write the word canceled across it or he changed his mind or something. Now I did use the weekly last week. I'm still trying to figure out it is very simple. This is simplistic planning in my mind because I'm literally just putting down what I need to be working on those days. There are some things that already did not happen last week. Uh, but, and then you have a place for your note reminders and maybe even some other things I can do here. Uh, I really like this setup. I love horizontal. It's easy for me. I actually really like that there's four days on this side because that is almost the bulk of my week and Friday goes into the weekends. As you notice, there's nothing really on the weekends right now because this is my book nester and I'm trying not to do book nesty things on the weekends unless it might be a posting of a picture such as prior on a Sunday or something saying, Hey, there's going to be a video coming up. Don't know yet. Really trying to give myself two days off. 
All right, so let's start get planning for the week. So we are in January of 2022. And I'll worry about all this once I get this all filled in because things like life balance activity, oh, can you see, you can't see, life balance activity and what to keep in mind. I let my weekly schedule kind of dictate those kind of things. What is my focus going to be? So I need to put in the stuff that I want to do and or need to do and then I can go from there. And the whole reason I do this, I will typically do this on a Friday afternoon to plan for the forward week so that come Monday I can hit the ground running. Didn't happen last week because I didn't have any time to film and I really wanted to film. Now going forward I'm not going to film every weekly plan unless this turns into something people are actually interested in but this is just kind of how I do some things. I probably will do one weekly plan a month possibly but that does change up because I need to be filming during the day and not at night but I would much rather be doing this at you know the end my end of day routine on Friday would be prepping for next week. That's the way I, I like to, to work. So let's just get started over here. Again, one of the things I love is whenever you can fold it back. And as I said before, we had Simon uh, was supposed to <laughs> work from home and he did not. The biggest thing I need to be doing today is I've finished Hotel Porto, uh, Portofino, so I probably need to be looking at writing that uh, review, at least the first draft. All right, so this is, and I like putting the kind of the action verb first for myself so that I see what I'm doing because a post is very different. I do have a video to post today, which hopefully, well, by the time you see this, hopefully you've already seen, and that is my monthly setup. So I, I that is probably one of my bigger things I want to do. And post all right so that is and then I like this space because I have plenty of space to write out really what it is instead of just that so And then the next one that I need to do is I need to write. So again, I like to put kind of like an action verb, uh, you know, a, a to action. So a verb instead, so that I'm always creating an action and I'm thinking in those, in those terms for me. All right. So, and this is a, this is actually a blog post. So then I have a few other things because he's, um, oh, and I should, yeah. And we're going to put, uh, even though I, it, this, he's changed his mind. Now it's important that I know when he's going to work from home because then I have to plan accordingly because I cannot work on my big computer, which uh, is normally editing and uh, creating of some thumbnails, things like that. A lot of my uh, graphic stuff that I'm doing <laughs> sounds, sounds, Interesting. I was going to write good old cancel. And part of that is because if I had done this on Friday, I would not have known that he was not going in. So I need to get comfortable with doing things like this, writing over what I already did. All right, so that was actually we're going to do a canceled. Um, I want to start noting. They may, with the surge, I don't know if they're going to make him stay at home, but right now the plan is for them to end up going in at least three days a week, and he's shooting for five out of five 
with the option to work from home. So that's kind of, it is what it is. <laughs> that's, he's a creature of habit. So right now, I'll be honest with you, this is a lot for the first day for me even. Um, and I'm going to do every other box. However, I do have a few things. Now, I say this is all about Book Nester. However, sometimes you'll see some personal things to do, like I need to purchase something or I need to remind myself to do something. That's pretty important for me. Um, so I could have, like in this case, I'm probably going to have order. And then I need to order some tea, so... And that is Arbor Teas that I order that from. And that, you know, that this is Book Nester related. If we don't have our tea, <laughs> um, that becomes an issue for us. So I have order. Now you see me go back over and kind of darken these things. Um, I just like that it stands out just enough. And then let's see, I am, oh. <laughs> This is a little different. So again, this is going, this, this was, so we've gotten the two things that were listed here. However, things have been added because of his cancel. We now have a film. Film. All right. So now I have two films. Uh, I need to film episode zero one. This is the one I'm filming right now, which is the weekly. Not actually, it's week two. So I just noticed something. Amplifier has this as week three. It is week three of the, I guess it could be. It's not really, it's week two of January or of the year of 2022. It would be week three in this planner. Interesting. That might be something I have to, to readjust my thinking to because I was going by weeks of the year. So week two of of the 52 weeks of 2022 so all right and then I also am going to go ahead and start so this is another thing you'll see coming out um, later just to give you an example of working in my dailies so I wanted to kind of almost like a planner vlog to some degree is have have you see me going through a dailies for about a week. I don't know if the, if it's repetitive, it might be only a couple days, but working my daily, oh, I should have said in, <laughs> in my daily. And we're just gonna call it day one film. So I'd like you to see that as well. And that's why this was so important to do the weekly first because that feeds into my dailies. So we've got my film, we have two films or two things that I need to film, one of which I am doing right now. All right, and that is really it for Monday, which seems pretty, pretty crazy. Uh, so this is gonna continue with me putting in different things that are going on. I do want to go ahead, I'm gonna do every other box just for a little bit. Now you will see me use my pen to decorate a lot more uh, than necessary stickers. I do like using stickers a lot. <laughs> and I'm very excited because I just ordered a whole bunch, yeah, uh, for my wellness uh, planner that I'll be setting up and showing you my setup for February on that. All right, so now we're on to the Thursday, which is, I'm sorry, the Tuesday, which I know, oh, I'm gonna need a sticker. See if it's in this one. I don't know if it is. It's my stickers back here. Whoa, they're everywhere, aren't they? They're everywhere, they're everywhere. Aren't stickers always? Now comes the great sticker shuffle where you go looking through the stickers and then you realize it's not in here. It's not. Of course it's not. Okay. Oh, and then you get an earthquake. See, I really need to get used to this. I split up my stickers between my uh, my quarterly and my annual 
planner. However, I now am realizing that probably is not what I need to be doing. I need to have all my stickers in one area, so, but we'll see. Because if I have two planners on the go, which I don't quite yet. Uh, I haven't really started my health and wellness. I did in the previous planner of choice, uh, but I'm waiting on a few things to be able to set up a little bit better in that one. So what I'm going to do is from Orange Umbrella Co. As usual, I love their stickers. There is actually, um, I do want to schedule the cleaning of the house, uh, and that is important for me to see that. So I think I'll be putting it on my... I'm still wondering. Yeah, I'm going to put it on the, the weekly. So I'm kind of using the same kind of colors throughout. I love these. These are muted rainbow and um, it is January. So I always just think of blues for January for some reason. So we're just going to, you know, pull out this one. These are the cutest little things, but I do think they're very, it's important for me to mark this and see it. So we're going to go right there with it, hopefully. Yep. And I'm actually going to go ahead. So the reason I'm doing this is this is this affects my filming capabilities definitely for cleaning the house. So I will, and it's cleaning the apartment, not the house, but you know, technica technicalities. Now I have some other things that I need to do here. Um, let's see, we're going to do actually because, because we can. I know it probably looks weird to put a time, but that's, I've got to budget in the time to do it so that I don't. And so that will be starting at eight o'clock. That's first thing that I will be doing. So that's clean the house. And then actually, and then we'll have it. Should take me about two hours to clean the apartment. If I just put on YouTube and get to rocking or put on my uh, audio book. All right. Uh, then we have, we have an, an edit. So something's going to need to be editing. Let's see, what, do I, what is it going to be? It's probably going to be editing this episode. Looky there. Okay. Now we have a film. Actually, let me go ahead and we're going to write out, just like I, I said, one of the things I like is being able to write it out. I don't write out the episodes very often um, in the planner. Mostly it's just the numbers. So it's nice to have this space to note what it is that I'm working on. It also helps me check back to make sure that, um, sorry, writing, thinking, and talking is not easy. It helps make sure that I'm, I'm getting everything in here. So there's a film, there should be a film followed by an edit. Uh, there's additional filming here of my daily. And to be honest, I should have put edit the previous one on there because I have to get really better, something I learned last week, better about editing right after I film. So, so I can see what information I have. So maybe that's more of film and review. All right, next. Yeah, I didn't want to do that, but we're going to have to commit to it since we've written it down in ink, <laughs> permanent ink. I do have some, uh, Frixons, which are erasable. That's probably what I should be doing this in. All right, so this is episode 0122P3. Yeah, I think I'm going to change it up a little bit. We're going to do a bit of editing. I want to see what I have. Um, so what happened last week is I was doing my daily uh, color check-in film, and... The problem that I had is I had a lot on there and I needed to think, you know, if I'm trying to keep them short-ish, I need to be more aware. 
of how much I'm filming and where I stay, where I was at with it. And I end up having to have two videos instead of one. And I really want to try to make it to one if I can. So a colorful check-in is me just talking about what I'm working on that week for my coloring, which is my self-care kind of thing that I've got going on. And I'm just filming on a daily basis about 30, 40 minutes of coloring or so. Maybe oh, a little bit longer. Sorry, my nose is running now. Um, so I like that and doing it. I just have to be more conscious about then looking at possibly editing as well on the same day. Again, just to kind of keep myself in the loop and knowing. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill out the rest of this week and I will bring you back. So it's just going to keep going down that line uh, and then we'll finish up. By that time, I'll get a really great idea of what my focus should be, what I should be looking at, what to keep in mind. Um, you know, this house cleaning is a big thing because that's two hours out of my day where the house is just, it's in a tip and then it's clean. <laughs> but I like doing it one time a week and I just mass clean. It's, it's a small apartment. It's one bedroom and it's just easier to get it all done and to focus on that time. So I will bring you back in just a moment. All right, so I basically have the week set up, as you can see here. Um, I've got all the kind of the to-dos to do, the, the, the scheduling of the editing, posting, and filming, and all of that. But one of the things I don't have is my reading schedule, so I think I'm gonna actually put this up in these little banners here. Now, I am more of a functional uh, planner. I like to add stickers if they're helpful, if they're a good visual. And then once we get things kind of settled, then I'll come in and pretty up the pages, just a little bit, not much. But I use mostly my handwriting and a black pen to do the most uh, decorating that, that on most of these pages, but I've decided to come in. I have this great little pen that I love. It's a Zebra Sarasa clip. It's a 0.5. Um, they come in all these vintage colors and this is, and that's one of the reasons I like it because it goes really well with most of what I do. And we're just gonna go in and um, this week, oh my gosh, guys, I started my James Patterson book. Uh, <laughs> the authors that you always find at the airport. So how am I gonna do this? Um, let's see if we look down, you know what, because I do like them to kind of, we're going to do read and we're just going to put that down there. So I started doing this, reading that book and oh my gosh, the opening scene. And then I mentioned it to my husband and he has actually read a James Patterson. He said, oh my gosh, that must be what he does because he remembers that there was quite a scene uh, at the beginning of the book that he read as well. So uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm in for, but it was funny. I was listening to it on audio because uh, I hadn't purchased it yet. And I actually decided that I don't know that I could, <laughs> that I could, um, uh, sorry that I could actually handle somebody reading it. It sounded like it's either if it, if it gets too uncomfortable in some places, cause it is a murder thing. Um, I, I like to either speed through stuff or skip over if I need to, but when you have somebody reading it to you, who, so what I am reading is first to die. You know, I'm going to go back in. Yeah. I, I, I do like picking up because this is a very, this pen that I'm using is a 0.25. So it is very thin, which is great because it allows me, it really helps me, um, uh, write small, which I write small anyway. So this makes it very, very comfortable. So we're just going to go in and I should be reading first to die all week. Um, I am listing something, but I will share that with you in just a moment. So here we go. Um, so I've got my read, a little pop of color. <laughs> I know it's small. Now, if I look over this, this is going to kind of lead me to, so my life balance activity is actually me listening to an audiobook. And the reason I count that as, sorry, I'm reaching for my, my, uh, my stickers again, um, is because I do that largely whenever I'm actually, um, sorry when I'm actually doing my coloring. So those are two self-care activities. 
And if I'm listening to an audiobook, I am just not making notes. I'm just enjoying the story for what it is because I can't if I'm not listening. And, and I feel like it's an indulgence right now with the one that I'm listening to. So hold on one second. I'm going to make a choice. Uh, we've had blue over here. We have that. Let's see. Kind of that brown color. We're going to do a light blue over here. So just to show you last week, uh, it's the same book uh, I'm listening to. So it's a perilous undertaking. So I'm going to put my little listening because this really is my kind of to balance out. Anytime I put on my headphones uh, and I'm listening to something, it's fun because I really uh, I kind of zone out. And I'm, and this particular story that I'm listening to is just, I'm loving it. It's, it, it's a second. So remember how I'm doing seconds in 22. So, uh, this is a, okay. You see this, this is what, so this is why I did it in this one. Cause this is, this is a lot of words <laughs> to get. And I was doing it a little bit too spread out. Yeah, that was a magic. Uh, so this is that Frixon pen. Uh, it's a Frixon ballpoint 0.5. Um, so we're going to try that again. Actually, I think I'm going to do it with this kind of A. There. I like that a little bit better. So now we're going to... We're going to zhuzh it up a bit. Okay. So I do. And now lettering. Why do I bother with this? I love doing it. Um, I am trying to practice handwriting, coming up with different ways to do my handwriting. Uh, I have always been fascinated by a, by handwriting. I feel like it's one of the most personal things that each of us have. And whether you think your writing's messy or not, uh, does that isn't what it reflects. It's just such a personal, you know, you have a hold of a pen. It is your moment of artisticness, whether you believe it or not. Um, and it's such a personal thing. My father had absolutely beautiful, tiny handwriting, which is probably where I started imitating small. Um, and which was, you know, kind of surprising for a, a man, but you know, penmanship was something that they taught in his, he went to a Catholic school run by brothers. And, uh, that was one of the things. And he had great, beautiful, distinctive handwriting. And it's funny because my mom always said she, her handwriting was so messy compared to his. And, you know, she, and, but yet my mom had really pretty interesting handwriting as well. She did the most beautiful L's. Now her name was Lillis. So, that that L was important and it was beautiful. It, reminded, it was prettier than the L on Laverne's sweaters back from Laverne and Shirley, if you're that old or if you happen to see those in reruns. Um, but it was just beautiful. So it, both of my parents had, and I enjoyed it. I also loved looking at letters from my great grandmother who I really did not know. I met like one time in my whole life. And the interesting thing is, is that... Um, I felt like I kind of knew her because of some items that my mother had, letters and also a daily, so funny, she had this um, calendar and it was a daily calendar kind of thing, kind of like this where, it, you know, there was a day on it all the way down uh, for a week at a time and then you flipped a page, but she would write something in her box every day. And just seeing her handwriting, because um, I couldn't necessarily read it when I was younger, I just felt, I don't know, maybe a connection to her um, with that. And then once I got old enough and I could read her handwriting, 
I loved it, uh, you know, to read what she was doing and, and all of that. So now comes the time for me to be looking at, okay, so keep in mind, am I fo focused? Now for me, this is about kind of motivation. What am I focusing on? Now my word of the year is cultivate and I use that on a daily basis. So I don't need necessarily something here that goes that. However, I have some really great kind of encouraging little words and stuff that I, that are in my happy planner. So the happy planner, uh, abstract watercolor recovery. Uh, so that's the, the name of this pad. And again, you can see the color. So that's kind of the colors I was matching with the inks that I had here. Again, I don't typically do huge amounts of decorating. So this whole back page, which might be hard for you to see, is of uh, little statements, and I love them. They're all done in gold, so that's always fun. And I just kind of go around and look at it and go, okay, so what's going on here? This is going to be a pretty tough week for me. Uh, uh, let's see. You know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to... Actually, where's the first one? Because they, they do repeat, which is great. I'm fine with that. I will need the same sentiment some days. Oh, hopefully I can get it all. Hold on. It's really sticking. So what I chose for today, or for not, well, for the week, is give yourself time. There is a lot going on. And if I don't get it all done, I need to give myself time to develop these skills. But I think that that's something I need to hear quite often. Now, focus, I don't know that I put focus last week. Oh, that was uh, working in Amplify and getting used to this. So maybe this week it's on, uh, I probably need to be focusing on, to be honest with you, with my, um, editing, keeping up with editing, because that's something I learned last week. If I don't, then I get myself in a bit of a bind. So keep up with editing. So I need to be thinking about editing every day because what I thought I would do is, you know, do the filming and all this, and then I'd have one day of editing and all it takes is, you know, something to happen like your husband you think editing is going to happen on friday and then all of a sudden your husband says no i have to work from home because it's going to be snowing and then he decides to go in anyway because the snow wasn't as bad or the you know things were clear and that that changing of my schedule based on if my husband is here or not i need to be when i can edit when i when he's not here you know edit what you can and keep up with it so that's one of the lessons i learned last week I think it's one of the best things about this Amplify is it allows me to stay very focused on what I need to do and what I need to be doing. And I think that that's great and really helps me. Um, I don't get caught up in all the decorating. That is going to be in my wellness. And that's because it's going to be a bit of an expression and it's a journal and I want some art in it. And, you know, so I do want that creative outlet in there. This is about focus, about a lot of my creative outlets, but it's still, this is the, the focusing part because to get things done, you need to have a plan <laughs> and you need to have a plan so that you can change that plan, which could happen. So this is the plan for the week, my weekly for the week of January 10th through the 16th with my weekends being wide open right now, because who knows? what we're going to do. And one thing I want to make sure is that I'm not doing anything for Book Nester. All right. Well, thanks for sitting with me. And the next video that you should be seeing is me working into my dailies, which this week plan is what jumpstarts my week, my dailies. So hope you're having a great day and I hope you're planning plenty of time to find time for you.